You should put in just a little, like, his, like a Zelda. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Damn it. Like, you know when you get a new item? Yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. Do -do -do -do. Now, the th nice thing about the a la carte sword, though, is that it's really fast. It's a very fast weapon. And it has some nice range. Oh, yeah. It's it's exactly like the Alucard sword, except much, much weaker. And it doesn't have the Alucard sword uh, uh, special attack. Aside from that, though, its, it's, it's swing speed and its range are exactly the same. So it doesn't have a special attack in what? Uh, it doesn't do as much damage. Yep. Actually. It feels very out of place that there's a Colosseum in the middle of the castle. Ouch. Well, oh, there's our good friend. Yep. Told you we'd, <laughs> told you we'd see him soon enough. So, remember we got that Soul of Wolf thing? Uh-huh. What exactly does that do? Oh, well, you see, it turns me into a wolf. The problem is, I really can't use it very well yet. He weren't on yet. Ouch. Wait, you mean you, like, you haven't learned to use it, or the game doesn't like it? Well, you see, in order to use it to its fullest, I need a particular two items. The power of wolf and the skill of wolf. And with those, it will make using it a whole lot better. And we get the blood cloak. It's a much better, a uh, much better cloak than the what is it? The cloth cape. Yeah. Now what the blood cloak does is for every damage I take, I gain, I uh, get some hearts. I'm in my basket. Damn it! Well, that's our first death. <laughs> I don't think I saved. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, that's one tally mark. Alright. I actually have a literal board here and I'm taking tally marks. <laughs> Shut up, Danny. <laughs> Not helping. Alright, we'll see you when I get back. That is actually embarrassing. <laughs> oh, Rox is Mm-hmm. Who's Uh, he's, uh... He's called... He's called Olrox, but in fact, uh, he's real... He's really a, uh... A, uh... Have you ever watched the movie Nosferatu? Yeah. You have? Well, it, not the whole, not all of it. Well, if you'll remember, the vampire from Nosferatu is Count Orlok, who is essentially like he's like the the public domain Dracula. That's the best way to put it. But yeah, you know, Orlok's, you know, or we'll just call him Count Orlok because that's really who he is. You know, he's a uh, He's a boss in this game. We're back, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, I will be saving... We're here for round two. Bitches. <laughs> now get that blood cloak again. <coughs> Only after... Best friend. I love killing those guys in one hit. <laughs> There's just bones flying everywhere. Wait, we got holy water back? Oh yeah. Oh holy water, how I'm this There we go. And that's what I should have used to kill that asshole. Oh wait, we're Actually. not using the olive cart? Yeah, that's right. Hold on. Be fixing that shortly. Oh, I don't know. 
Okay. Now right. we're up to date. Yep. Getting this blood cloak. If anything, I should have just waited till after I got the blood cloak. To but... see. <laughs> well, no, to, uh, to, uh, you know, unequip stuff. Oh, yeah. Interesting thing about the, uh, there we go. Interesting thing about, uh, swords like the Alucard sword that have these, uh, you know, these auras to them. They're, while jumping and slashing, like, their uh, hitbox lingers for a bit. So you can get two attacks in with one swing. Oh. It doesn't work for every sword, but for swords like the Alucard sword, which have this, you know, this, see how it has like an R as a slash? Yeah. Yeah, see? Ouch. Yeah, let's Is that go. only when you jump that attack? Yeah. It doesn't work when, for when you're standing for some reason. Don't ask me why it works while jumping. I <laughs> don't complain. We haven't visited the shop in a while. I know, because there's only one shop. And it's sort of out of the way. Although we will we'll, we'll, we'll be coming back to the library soon because not the best stuff. Well, I might buy something. But there's one thing that I want that I'm really saving up for. It's gonna take 30,000 gold. Cool. Oh, there we go. Opening that up for later. Ouch. Oh, what'd you just do? I used Soul Steel to bust the, the ceiling open. Uh. Yeah, fun fact. Soul steal doesn't s just steal the souls from enemies. It also, uh. Hehe. <laughs> the holy water was great. But it also steals the souls from inanimate objects. Somehow. But yes, you can. What this means, you can use soul steal to uncover breakable walls. Oh, and David? Mm hmm. You knew I never died. Yep. No, I, I don't know, I was just showing it off. We get the Night Shield, which we won't be using. Actually, that reminds me! I grabbed the Iron Shield a long time ago. You tell me you didn't equip it. I didn't equip it. <laughs> but that'll be changing right now, because I'm going to be needing it. Well, show it off, because I haven't seen it. Oh yeah, and I picked the, I have the Silver thing too. I'll be wandering right now. Silver plate's just a raw defense shield. So yeah. No special effects. Nope. Although there are some armors that give, you know, neat little things. Like the Holy Mail we'll be seeing later, which has the damage of Holy Attacks. Which. Uh, that'll is, that'll uh, come in handy for one particular boss fight. And I'm going to save only because what I'm about to do next is a trick of a pain in the butt. Once again, no idea what he's talking about. Alrighty. Oh boy. That guy looks familiar. Yep. Oh. There. Took out those guys. Damn it! Take that experience too. Does it just depend on your level that you do the um that meteor attack? No, what you do and when you like the way to do Hellfire, and I just got the shield rod by the way. But the way to do Hellfire is uh you uh you press up, then quarter circle forward. And then, while you're in the attack animation, you can move along the ground, and then when he, uh, you can either just let it fire off as is, or if you hold up, he'll do the meteor attack. 
and you are completely invincible throughout the whole thing. Oh, they're getting pretty close. Yeah, they are. Please. Nope, we missed. Son of a bitch. Wait, what was that? I think I'm... There we go. You see, with the shield rod, depending on the shield you have, if you press both... If you press the shield and the, the square and the circle button, what will happen is you will... Uh, it will do a special attack or a special summon. Oh. Like, say, right here, I summon this guy who chucks swords at me. And this is awesome. And it doesn't take up any of this. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. yeah. But it's, you know. That's it's a useful. Oh, yeah. And this. Here we go. Someone's pissed off now. That was his purpose for living. The that, owl. His best friend. Again, I love the attention of detail in this game. And here we are. Holy shit! I'll have none of your shit, sir. Take that. Ouch. Here, have some cold water. Ooh, that's right. Excellent. Yep. So what's here is the iron on here? The iron shield? Uh, yeah, uh, it only provides two defense. Uh, you know, it's better than the leather shield, but nothing which is nothing special. Yeah. You know, there are still better shields. Actually, I'm gonna save. Just so that bit of work doesn't get undone. <laughs> like, what's we'll wrong? Yes, don't remind me. Lesson learned. I was, eh, not so much lesson learned, I was just being really stupid. I should have used the holy water on that guy, and I just wanted to slash him. Oh my god! I slid right into him. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Actually. Because I'm susceptible to greed. Oh, I Nope. Damn it! Ah! Nope. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Fun fact, you can backdash faster than those axes. Battle strategy. Yep. Let's get our shield rod ready. There. Ow. It really does. And wait till you see some of the other shields I get, because for each shield, there is a different animation. So the knight shield has a different animation as well? Yes. <laughs> what it does, it summons, a, it summons an armored horse, which raises your defense. And hey, I like it. I'll be putting that to you soon.